Okay, well, fuck these. Three more came at once. I've sprayed the whole area with spray now. And, well, there's another one. They wait, they always come back when I'm, oh my god. I never have had so many of them bother me at one time. Ever. And I can't figure out where they're coming from. I went around and looked around the front of the house if there's any nests. Uh, they look like they're coming from like across the street when you, you can see them go as far as you can see. Or come when they leave and they come back. I've seen them coming back. But then now they're coming back and have, the floor is just flat wet from where I've been spraying up towards the big door over there. And uh, they're just hovering over in there now. Uh, maybe they like the smell of that killer and maybe it draws them to it. I don't know. But I think I'm going to try. I got this other soldering iron. It's uh, got a worn tip, but it always seemed to... I think it heats a lot better than that other one. It was about the same size of tip, but it's worn pretty bad. So blurry, I doubt you can see it that good. But man, this turned into a mess here. Having trouble soldering, getting attacked by bees. They haven't been attacking me or I'd be bit, but... They, they want it, what they want to do is they come up they buzz me and then they get in my head I've let them do it and then they'll dig around on my head and so, you can't tell it hurts and you can't tell if they're stinging you or just digging around and I believe what it is is my shampoo because I've used that shampoo for years for like 25 years there he is right here right, right 10 inches from my face now he left that soldering iron is working. So I'm just going to... I mean, the instant I touched it, it started melting like it should. <laughs> They're not supposed to like human breasts, so if you blow at them, they usually go away. But I'm trying to get it to... <laughs> sitting here soldering and the bee is buzzing me. I'm trying to get it to go up the wire some. Those are old worn wires. Oh, now it leaves. As soon as I start putting everything down to go after him with the spray, he leaves. I've sprayed. I've sprayed more than half a can now. Big old can. It looks big. It's only 17 and a half ounces. It's that kind that sprays real far. It looks like my wires are really kind of broke up more than I thought. Kind of worried about them. I don't want them falling apart as quick as I can solder it, you know. I'm trying to get the strands back into my chunk of solder. I think that's as good as I'm going to get it. Yeah, there's only one stray strand. Well, let's see if I can put it down in there. But yeah, this one's, they both say 30 watt, but this one's 10 times hotter than that other one. It melts it on, that solder on contact. I'm afraid that that's not in real good shape. I need a magnifying glass right there on top of my work area is what I need. Okay. I'm going to leave this uh, ground wire laying down. I bet this one will solder. When I get my, ta my tab hot. But I want it to wick up the wire some too. Hold it together better. and see what it is I'm doing here. Got enough solder in my iron now. I think I can just kind of travel it up the wire. I haven't really got it to stick to the tab really yet. I have to use the tiny part of the 
magnifying glass to even see it. Yeah, I have to put a little bit on the end of the... It'll kind of stay and I can work it, though, at least with this uh, this iron. That other one's no good. It's, it's kind of alright for very small... Rather small. I wouldn't say very small. Not SM... Not surface mount small, but uh, it's pointy, so it's okay for smaller things than wires. But I thought I was looking at the temperatures, and I thought, well, they're the same temperature. They definitely don't perform the same. I would say that that little blue one, this is that, this is the black one. That's the See if I can pull a little bit on the like on that wire there. It's not really good, you know, to wick the wires. It usually makes them end up wanting to. Taught myself to solder when I was about eight or ten years old. Found my dad's old welder solder iron in the garage. I used to repair my. The first thing I learned to do was repair my transistor radio by reheating the solder joints. I could tell it was, it was acting up and making noise and cutting in and out. And I could see back then when I was a kid and I was inspecting it and I could see where it was uh, moving. You know where the wires could move in the solder joints. So I heated them up. Actually, I was just trying to get them off, and I, th I knew what solder was. I'd played with it a lot, you know. I knew what you were supposed to do with it. Figured it out. And uh, I, uh, <coughs> see if I can get this one turned around to where I can see it. There we go. It's good for me. Is that all right for you? Since you can't really see it anyway, I guess it don't matter. And what I had done the other day is I just twisted them around and around so that I could just use it the other day. <coughs> so they're not pretty at all. Usually I try to make it look nice before I solder it so that it looks better when it's once it's soldered. Anyway, I learned to solder wires. And like I said, fixing um, my little radios and stuff. When I was about 10, I see, yeah, probably about 10. What was it, 5th grade? Maybe I was 12, I don't know. But um, I got a transistor radio for my birthday, AM transistor radio, and that was the smallest radio I'd ever seen. It was amazing that it could. And actually, you know, it sounded pretty good, we thought, back then. It was amazing that it could pick up music, such a small thing, just about anywhere. Took it to school. Everybody was taking theirs to school. And the day I decided to take mine to school, the teacher decided she didn't like it and started take, took up my radio. Made me so mad. I kept it to the end of the school year. I almost went and got that thing out of her desk. I knew where she kept it, but I didn't want to get kicked out of school or something, you know. Didn't want to have my mom pe peeling my ears back. All she had to do was just say, don't bring that back. She took my property. And then when it come close to the end of the year, I remember, from what I remember, she tried to act like she didn't have it. Didn't know where it was. And I started getting mad, and she found it and gave it back. I don't even remember the name of that teacher, but I remember what she did. 
No, you didn't teach me nothing. I don't even remember what you stuff that you taught. And I grew up to be a lifelong learner. I love learning and I always did. Uh, B. But I don't know how to keep these bees from leaving me. It's bothering me today. Maybe I should go watch some YouTube videos on it, huh? Yeah, I never could read good in class because I couldn't read with tricks. Uh, any kind of, still can't read with any kind of uh, distractions. But if I'm by myself on the computer, and I can read better on the computer, I can see better. To read the letter, letters and numbers change before my eyes. They swap places and they look like different letters and numbers. But on the computer, it's a lot better. Or it was. It's kind of getting even worse now as I get older. I'm making the horrible, most horrible mess out of this. But if I get it to where it's not a cold solder joint and it holds, then I'll be glad of that at least. I can't see. I've got on these magnifying safety glasses. And using the magnifying glass with the little bitty one that gets up close just to try to see it. They look like cold solder joints, but I got them. They're just big and way too much excess solder on there. I believe that's absolutely the ugliest solder I may have ever done. Oh crap. I think I ruined it. It looks to me like it's warped. I got it out of the picture now. Where is my I think I may have completely ruined it. Maybe if I put my deal back in there before it gets cooled down, I think it's too late. Well, I didn't know I was getting it so hot. I can't get my camera to line up. That board is, the board makes me think I'm, that's where it should be. But I actually completely Got it so hot that the deal won't go in there. I've done something like that before and fixed it by reheating it, you know, the plastic. You can't really see, even with the magnifying glass, how crooked it is, I don't think. There you can. I can't believe that. This is a bad day for me in projects, I guess. I haven't soldered anything in so long. I haven't, I don't try much anymore because I can't see good. I was having so much trouble. I couldn't see that I was, I mean, I had no idea I was overheating it because I wasn't going to touch it, and, you know. I mean, I knew it would get hot. I still have bees coming around, but they're not getting all around my head now. There's one hovering around down low. I think maybe they're uh, getting into the poison and beginning to lose their... I just sprayed that one right under where my feet are and he's just kicking around down there. I was trying to get to this while it's still warm and it's not warm anymore. When I was heating up that ground leg, I bet you I heated it up so much. I don't think I can get it to go back to its normal position. I'm going to try put, heating it back up, I guess, and put that in there. It's useless like it is. Okay, I guess I'll step on the bee and have mercy on him. He's just struggling down there. I hate to kill him. They do, you know, they make our flowers pollinate and all that stuff. Let me go sweep him up. <laughs> 